Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in Pro Tools. I'll show you how to load the instruments and select different presets. I have a blank Pro Tools project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments we installed, Cloud Supply. I'll select Track and select New. I'll set this new track as stereo, change the type of track to an instrument track, and click Create. I'll click on the first empty slot for Insert A through E, Multi Channel Plugin, and Instrument. Don't worry if you don't see some of the instruments you installed or a specific instrument called Complete Now. Some of the instruments you installed, like Cloud Supply or Retro Machines, are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install the contact player from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll go ahead and select Contact. As you can see in Contact's browser on the left, these are all of the contact libraries I installed with Complete Now. Let's load the Play Series instrument, Cloud Supply. I'll click on Instruments below Cloud Supply and then double click cloudsupply.nki which loads the instrument. We can now hear this preset when I play the keys on my MIDI keyboard. If you want to change the preset, click the small triangle at the top, select the different sound category, and select a preset. Let's load up Massive X. I'll select Track, and select New. I'll set this track as stereo, change the type of track to an instrument track, and click Create. Click an empty slot for Insert A through E, Multi Channel Plugin, Instrument, and Massive X. Now that Massive X is loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, Click the preset name at the top, and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Let's get some drums in here. I'll select track again at the top and select new. Set this track as stereo, change the type of track to an instrument track, and then click create. I'll click the empty slot for Insert A through E, Multi Channel Plugin, Instrument, and Battery. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into battery. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects. We can load either the Delay Effect Replica or one of my personal favorite reverbs, ROM. I'll click below Contact in the Inserts area, Multi-Channel Plugin, and Reverb. If you want to load Replica, you can find it under the Delay section. Let's go back to Reverb and select ROM. Even the default ROM settings sound great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in Pro Tools. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our Complete Now product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.